morning. I am back to do a um, craft with me that I haven't done for quite a while. So, I got my glue stick. This is the one I like. Elmer's Extreme. Pick whatever glue you like. Everybody has a different opinion about glue, I've decided. So, <clears throat> what I'm trying to do today is for a, a journal cards and things for a, a journal for a young man. So, no florals, no, you know, none of the things you really like. <laughs> well, that I really like. So, I'm going to try and do just book page. Never done that before. I just wanted to see how it would be. So, let's start gluing. Um, <clears throat> also, let me point out that I've decided to use a heavy piece of cardstock and print some basic My Porch Print lines on it, on one side. That will be my journaling space, and then this side will be my collage, embellish page. <clears throat> or side, excuse me. So, let's see what damage I can do. I hope everybody's doing well today. It is a overcast, dreary sort of not rainy, but not dry day. It's more misty, this miserable looking, not a happy torrential downpour. But, and I would like to point this out. It's kind of messy because I got glue all over it, but this little squeegee thing from Amazon, like six, seven dollars, and it is fantastic. I have not worn it out yet. I usually go through a lot of cards. I don't know, maybe I'm just too heavy-handed with my squeegee But this one is just, it is wonderful. I would highly recommend it. Okay, let's see. Right there. I know I'm doing really big pieces, but it's okay. You can't do the wrong with this, really. <clears throat> this one about up here. And it really helps my arthritis to not use my hands so much, which you know I've been doing so. Let's see. <clears throat> All the kids back to school. If I had any kids that went to school anymore. I'm getting old, so my kids are all older. Getting out on their own, doing their own thing. Having a great time. Living life like they should. So, if anything, I called my dad the other day. I was going to send my sister-in-law a get well card. And I wrote down the address that I had. And then I second-guessed myself. I'm like, ah, this is still their right address. I don't see family, extended family, very often. We live too far away. But, so that was my concern, was that I totally did not have their correct address anymore. So I've got some Edith Holden book page hair that I wanted to use. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so I called my dad, who is, he will be 94 in September. And so he, most everything he tells you is a repeat from the time before. But he's so wonderful. Anyway, so here's what happened. I called him up and I said, Dad, I need to send something to Greg and Sue, my brother and sister-in-law. And is this their address? And I gave him, do they still live at, on this street? And I gave the name of the street. And he's like, what? And I said, um, Greg and Sue, is this their address? And he's like, you want an, you want an address? 
oh, yeah, Dad, can you get me Craig and Sue's address? And he's like, okay. So you just have to ask him in the right way, apparently. And I was so not doing it the right way. <clears throat> so let's see. I've got this super gorgeous color music paper from Miss Rita because she is so awesome to do that. Let's see. But to my dad's credit, he can text with the best of them. He doesn't do it very often, but when he does, it's like, oh my dad, that's awesome. He texts better than me sometimes. I'm not very good at texting. Oh no. No, no, no. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous color on there? <clears throat> So some ladies are really good about doing craft with me and just chewing the fat with their subscribers. Oh, by the way, welcome to all my new subscribers. You guys are wonderful. Thank you for joining me. <clears throat> but I am not, I'm not a very good fat. So, let's see. Shall we use, use that again? Quite long enough, but let's see. Yeah, I could do that one and then um too big. I don't want to cover up that one too much. Do any of you have Etsy shops? And how well are you doing in it? I seem to sell better from Facebook and just friends in general. It's just, I don't know. I mean, I do sell on Etsy, but not, not very often. So I was wondering if that was a thing or if it's just me or if, I don't know, if I shouldn't do it anymore that way because it's not doing anything. But just curious. There we go. Whoop. Sorry about that. Oh, yeah, glue is the number one thing that you use for junk journals. I don't know how they would get made without it. Okay, there's that one. What do you think? I like it. Let that dry for a bit. And we do the second one. This is the page that I printed on the side. And then we'll just Continue on. Yes. That'll be wonderful. I don't know. Can you can you share photos in the whoops in the comments on YouTube? Is that a thing? That'd be awesome to see what y'all are working on. And if you all have tried 
the master board thing. Or if that's something that you would like to try. Just haven't gotten up the courage to do it yet. I know you all are super courageous. But let me know in the comments if that's possible. And if it's not, you can just, you know, tell me what you've been working on, what you've tried, what you wished to see next time that I craft with me. Wouldn't that be? Yes, that would be awesome. Yes, do that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, that one for it. Yes. Yeah. Why not just use the whole thing? You guys demand talking constantly. Do I talk too much? Ooh, there's a thought. Maybe I talk too much. Glue all over me. <coughs> so what inspired me to do this today was a I just recent just this morning watched a Roxy's creation video and she was doing this very thing but you know much better <laughs> she's very good at what she does but she gave me I mean when she was doing it she was doing both sides of course one side had more pattern papers and the other side had more um, blank pages, page, things that you could write on, but I just got to thinking, hmm. that it would be nice to do this again. It's been quite some time since I've made a, not since my last video really, made a um, master board. My head is in the way. I'm trying to get that so it covers the page. So, I haven't done this one for a minute. Ooh, that loving kindness into that is a sentiment we want to keep. I love that phrase, loving kindness. You don't see it much. <laughs> spring down here in Florida but the other day I have a nephew and his family who live in Idaho and they had to cancel school the other day because the with the wind chill the temperature had gone down to 25 below I know right seriously 25 below that's crazy so they chicken skiing instead, their children. They're very uh, adventuresome people. This last summer, they took their three young boys, I think the oldest is eight or nine, somewhere in there, and their youngest is three. They rode their bikes across most of the state of Missouri. Took them a couple months? No? Less than a month. Yeah, less than a month. And to their credit, their boys did really, really well. They were very proud of them for being able to do that. Mm -hmm. Sure. No. Oh, 
these are pages from uh, Creative, no, your Creative Studio, my Creative Studio, something like that. It was fun to get, but I'm not sure I can do that every time. It's, it's not really spendy, but I am so the worst spender of money. I don't like to do it. <laughs> like, uh, if I can get it for cheaper somewhere else, or like at a, you know, an estate sale that has the most beautiful paper sometimes. I love estate sales. This really vintage paper is getting scarce. The older people, back in the day, they saved such things. It was, thought, it was just wonderful how they could do that. Uh, too close to the other. Yeah. for a guy, so stuff like that. Oh, isn't that pretty? No, nope. can't do it. Can't do it. I will not torture the young man. regular typewriter paper, or excuse me, printer paper. Incorrupt just a little bit. Just to say we tried. I know I should have tea dyed it, but here's the thing. Because of my health, my fibromyalgia, joyful disease that it is, I can only tea dye on one day of the week, and it's Tuesday, and today's Friday, so it's not happening for another week. And and as it is, I can only do it for maybe an hour or so, tea dyeing. So it's not a lot of paper, but I'm finding that I can can deal with not as many tea dyeing sessions as I used to in the beginning. I don't absolutely positively need tea dyed paper all the time. I know it's, it's an amazing, amazing discovery. I want that paper because it's got a really good background for journaling on. So I'll keep that one. Personal and community hygiene. This was a teacher, how to be a school teacher, I don't know, public school methods. So <laughs> that's one of them. I had a whole chapter on thrift, savings, all that sort of thing. Like, yes, they should still do that. Kids don't know how to live on their own and be financially independent. They don't, you know, teach that in schools anymore. Poor kids. Literally. <laughs> and let's see. Yeah, like so. Oh, so close. Well, let's see. I missed. <laughs> and there we go. Oh, let's trim the excess a bit. Well, I'll have to trim around the edge anyway for the white that I forgot. Huh. Why didn't you all tell me I was missing up the white? I was forgetting to trim it. So, 
open with a glue stick. Now, let's see if this one is dried enough. Yeah. And now, according to Miss Roxy, all you need to do is just get your trimmer out and start trimming randomly. I am so bad at random, but we'll see what I can do. Let's trim the excess first. At least the sides. I don't know what we're dealing with. <clears throat> a little there. And there. And now, let's see, about the side first. I usually like my tags at about three and a quarter. And a regular sheet of paper, I can usually get two tags out of it. And so it could be pockets. Corner to corner, what do you think? Top tuck and a bottom tuck. And then a couple of tags. So two inches. Two and a quarter. No. <laughs> oh, I did that wrong. Um two inches. How's that? There. Two tacks. Should give the other sheet a little more time to dry, I'm thinking. And let's see. Um, let's see if we can do this. And we've got one and a half two inches to two and a half. So I think this is a two inch. And there you got a tack. And I think this might be too small, but we're too big. Oh, no. Perfect. There we've got two tags out of our first one ink around those, they'll be right as free. <clears throat> and this one, let's see. If it's three and a quarter one way, then I usually do six and a quarter tall, just as a general rule, after I trim off that edge there, but measure six and a quarter. Don't worry, we'll keep that bottom part. And six and a quarter. Okay. I'd get out my longer cutter, but you wouldn't be able to see it. It would be so big. There, let's see if that beats. And it was slit off the bottom. Good base for a uh, tag. And this one. And this one. There's two tags. Cut our little corner out. And also round the corners. You can just make your tag however you like. You can round the corners on the bottom, however you like to do it. And then this side. And for extra security, I like to sew around these when they're a little more dry. But not 
Nope, not our prerequisite. Oh. Sorry, excuse me, still need that. So now we've got two tags and two corner tucks. And now the next one, cut off that little edge. You can do this all day and be so supplied with tags and journal cards and whatever you want it for. Side tuck, give a bug for that. <coughs> journal cards in this one. So four inches is usually what I do a journal card. And but yeah. Four inches. And then this can be your tag. This is the middle of the page. Does it bother me? No. Nope. Right as rain. <clears throat> and then most journal cards that I do are four by six. So, we got four inches. Now we'll do. these are just your bases, something to layer it on, but if you're doing a, <clears throat> a more masculine journal, these could very well be your final product. Like that. And little bits that are left over. Oh, not that one. And this one. Let's see how feasible it would be to punch. Ooh, that's a little difficult. I hope I didn't hurt anything. Let it dry a little bit more before I actually bend it. It might be happier with me if I did it that way. on the floor. I'll get it later. <laughs> oh my goodness. I probably bumped the camera a hundred times if I bent over now. Okay. So, yeah. Cool. So there we go. We got it. Um, we have two tabs. We have two journal cards. A tag. As soon as I cut the tips. I'll just do little ones on this one. There. Wow, that wasn't very even, was it? Well, and from the other one, we have two large tags, two corner tucks, top and bottom. Or if you don't mind how your letter's wording is. And 
two tags. I will also make tags out of these. Okay, and thank you for joining me today. I hope that was helpful for you, and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.